DCs, The Flash was one of the most anticipated movies of 2023. The anticipation was a result of the lead star Ezra Miller's controversies, and DC trying their best to sell it off as the best DC movie yet. However, the movie failed to make its mark and performed poorer than DC's earlier failure Black Adam. What is even worse is that despite being declared the greatest superhero movie and being overly hyped, the movie performed worse than earlier, worse of other major studios. The Flash's grossing till now has been worse than DreamWorks' major flop Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. Before the movie was released, it was declared by the DC head as the greatest superhero movie ever made. With the news of Michael Keaton's reprising his role as Batman after years, fans were certainly hyped to see the movie despite the physical assault allegations against Ezra Miller. With multiple A-listers praising the movie before its release, it was speculated that it would perform okay if not well. Much to the disappointment of Warner Bros., the film has made just around $250 million against the expected $450 million, which would have helped it earn a profit. Even Black Adam managed to earn $393.3 million. DreamWorks' latest animation flick Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, which is the new lowest-grossing film from the studio, has managed to perform better than The Flash after earning $5.2 million at the opening. These numbers seem surprising but not sort of expected as fans claim. Many fans claim to boycott the movie after Ezra Miller and James Gunn's controversies, and the criticism received after the pre-screening of the film seems to have been what contributed to the movie's excellent box office performance. While The Flash's miserable performance has been easily regarded to be the result of the many controversies and allegations surrounding the lead star of the film Ezra Miller, but the actual reason seems to be the result of multiple other things. One likely reason may be that The Flash wasn't as much of a draw in terms of character, since the avid fans of the character had their fill already with the TV series of the same name, which ended just days before the film's premiere. Furthermore, with movies like Spider-Man, across the Spider-Verse still in theaters, it seems unlikely that anybody would want to waste their money on a film that was already deemed to be a failure days before its release. Another reason that led to the movie's pitfall was the movie's pre-screening months before its actual release. These pre-releases created a storm of negative reviews and publicity that naturally made viewers averse to watching it. Even the multiverse concept failed to catch the fancy of the viewers. The Flash is still in theaters now, 